Hey everyone, I'm Kevin with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Saint Mechthild of Helfte was born Matilda von Hackeborn Wipra in 1240 and belonged to one of the most powerful noble families in Thuringia. The miracles of her life began on the day of her birth. When she was born, she was so frail that the attendants worried she would die unbaptized. So they rushed her to the closest church where a priest was preparing for mass. After baptizing the tiny infant, the priest made a prophetic statement. He said, this child most certainly will not die but she will become a saintly religious in whom God will work many wonders and she will end her days in a good old age. And Mechthild did just that. At the age of seven, she visited her older sister, Gertrude of Hackeborn, who was now living as a nun in a Cistercian monastery. Afterwards, she declared to her parents that she too wished to live a cloistered life. Being devout Catholics, they happily agreed and she began her studies in religious life where she quickly grew in virtue and understanding. Ten years later, she joined her sister, who had been appointed abbess of the monastery in Helfta. Being now a nun, Mechthild set herself apart as a humble, pious, and extremely amiable young woman. Eventually, she became the headmistress of the convent school and took charge over the library. She enjoyed poring over spiritual books and wrote her own works in Latin, even composing several prayers. Known for her beautiful singing voice, she was also placed in charge of the choir. Her special talent for rendering solemn and sacred music with special love and devotion became the keynote of her life and her book. Even during her severe physical suffering later in life, she still loved to bring divine praise to God, so much so that she is sometimes referred to as the Nightingale of Helfta. In 1261, her sister, the abbess, entrusted to her a five-year-old child who had entered the monastery. The child's name was Gertrude, who would later become Saint Gertrude the Great. Most likely, the beginning of Saint Gertrude's mystical life was actually influenced by the holiness of Mechthild. In fact, many people came to her for wisdom and sound advice, including educated Dominicans who wished to consult her on spiritual matters. Mechthild had many mystical experiences. During one of them, the Blessed Virgin appeared to her and requested that she say three Hail Marys every day for her own salvation. From this sprang the devotion of three Hail Marys. The first one to remember the power received from the Eternal Father, the second the wisdom from the Son, and the third the love that has filled the Holy Spirit, honoring the Holy Trinity. Throughout her life, she was dedicated to Christ's Sacred Heart. She and St. Gertrude both received visions of Christ who would instruct them on honoring his divine heart in the sacrament. In one vision, Mechthild described Jesus telling her to let her first act every morning be to greet his heart and offer him her own. This and many other of her experiences were recorded in her book, titled The Book of Special Grace, which was partially written by St. Gertrude. In 1298, Mechthild went to be with the Lord at the age of 58. St. Mechthild lived her life like a song before the Lord. From the moment of her baptism until her death, she made her focus to honor God by her life. St. Mechthild, Nightingale of Helfta, pray for us.